Pickles the Gaijin here, Jamaican YouTuber. So today, I'm actually in my old room in Jamaica. Yes, vacation! Hot sun, I'm gonna be sweat. I can't have the AC here, so please apologize for the sweat that you're gonna see. I wanted to share my most embarrassing moments in Japan, as well as some of the mistakes I have made here in, made in Japan. And so let's kick it off right away. So one of the first, um, I, well, one of my most embarrassing moments, I think, was when I went to a club with my friend, um, Shane, Gaijin Shane, or Shane, who's a YouTuber, but left Japan. We went to a club called like, Gens Cafe. <laughs> and let me tell you, man, uh, we were there having some fun dancing, whatever. And this Japanese guy followed me to the bathroom and he asked me something weird. I don't know what it was. I, I didn't know what it was. I can't remember exactly what it was. But then while walking away from the bathroom, I think he touched me on my ass. So I'm like, what could have caused the man to touch me upon my bottom? I don't know him from nowhere. So what is this happening here? Is that sexual harassment? Anyway, so I kind of run away and hide behind Shane or whatever. And I think, I think again, he, the same guy tried to come and touch me on the small of my back. And I said, no, 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 no. Me not depend that, brother. You understand me? Because that's not how I was built. Um, and I don't think... So for me, that was very embarrassing to be touched that way. <laughs> um, yeah, and the stories only get worse, guys, from here on. Uh, from, and um, just to give you a little background, when I first came to Japan, I did no research at all. I knew four words, maybe at best. So you can imagine how my initial days had would be riddled with mistakes and embarrassing moments because of cultural nuances and misunderstandings and social faux pas, etc., etc. Then now, um, first time using a Japanese toilet. Now, I come from a place where my toilet them have a seat. Um, you don't have no music, you don't have no douche or whatever, but regular seat and, you know, comfortable. So I was at a temple in Nagoya where I was actually filming a, a movie which never came out. Right. The guy who was in charge of the temple was a foreigner as well. Um, he allowed us to eat with some of the monks. So, you know, the food is mad delicious, right? Mad oishi desne. You see me? And so I said, okay, time to use the bathroom because when I eat, I have to go right after. I'm like a duck. So I go to the bathroom and I'm staring at this um, machinery, this thing. On the ground i'm like what how am i going to use it there were no instructions on the wall or inside to tell you hey take off face this way do whatever you know like how the japanese toilets now have instructions i didn't see i didn't know how to use this uh, wonderful piece of technology so i was there wondering like how do i use it help me father because my belly was rumbling and i needed to get it out so i eventually took off most of my clothes my shirt my shoes my pants and my underwear and just let shit fly literally um Everything landed in the right place. I didn't know how because I was like trying to levitate at one point. I didn't, the squatting thing wasn't working and um, yeah, I was confused. I got the hell out of there and I've been avoiding Japanese toilets ever since. Um, another embarrassing, uh, another mistake I made, I think in Japan, not checking a phone number from a girl I got. A um, couple girls, as a matter of fact, and it was a wrong number. But in this case, I couldn't check it at the time because my battery had died. And her battery had died and we were both drunk. And every permutation of that number, I tried, didn't work. I was unsuccessful. And the funny thing about that night, that girl had a boyfriend, and I didn't know. But we ended up making out in front of the toilet. And um, yeah, so always have a spare. Moral of the story, always have spare batteries or charges on your person when in Japan. Because you never know when you might need some extra juice. Another one of, <laughs> well, an embarrassing moment that I go through every day is teaching my students is getting concho. For those who don't know what concho is, is when the Japanese kids do this and ram it up your booty or in your crotch. And, you know, at some point, I've become numb to it now, but initially the, all of my Jamaican came out the first time. So, Tapi, what you do? I literally could have hit the child, but um, because I was so, you know, shocked and, and stricken by fear, you know, because that a man's booty is very precious to him and also his, his, his you know, penis. And kicking in the same vein, as you can see, there's a little theme to all these embarrassing moments. I was at a bar, open bar, um, hanging out, you know what I mean, doing my thing, drinking. And this guy asked me if I'm Genki. Now, Genki in Japanese basically means that you're energetic or are you lively? Do you follow my drifts? So this homie comes up and says, oh, Genki, Genki this car, and he does this to reach from a junk. I'm like, Bridgin, what are you doing? No, that's not my style. I wasn't raised like that. Who raised you like that, sir, to just go and touch a stranger's penis? Is that something that's common in Japan? Listen to me. Don't do it again. I will end you right here. Well, I didn't say that. That, that was all in my mind. But I was like, what is this thing? Why are you reaching for my dick? Like, leave me alone. I don't know you. And even if I did know you, 
That's, you don't even buy me dinner first. You don't even say, hey, let, let's go for a drink. Something. You just come straight up and try to touch me. No, that's that's wrong. Call it out, Japan. I was so embarrassed. You know that scene like in, in, in um, Ace Ventura Pet Detective when um, Jim Carrey goes home to shower naked. I did that. But I can't hold in my um, bathtub. So I just have to stand up and shower and cry to myself. Actually, no. No. Nah, nigga. Nah. Ain't about that life. But I think the most embarrassing thing I've done in Japan... Wow, um, how do I say this? Now, Japan is a land of technology, right, guys? And, you know, so it has advances, technological advances beyond its years. <laughs> um, so I go to a Starbucks bathroom, and the Starbucks bathroom, or bathrooms generally have a urinal for meals and a toilet. Right. So I go to the Starbucks bathroom, I see toilet, and a very futuristic looking urinal. Now, I'm saying, oh, Starbucks, you so fancy. This urinal just has a little thing like this and then a little, a little trough. So it's like a rectangular, a cuboid, and there's a little trough like this in there, I guess, for where the urine is supposed to go. I'm like, oh, you also fancy you have this little suction thing. Bam, boom, I'm gonna use it because I'm I'm in Japan and you do as the Romans do or the Japanese do, you're gonna use their urinal. So I do my thing, use it, and they're venting it. So I was wondering, oh wow, this is really fancy. Anyway, I go away and the vent does this thing, and I'm like, it was blowing out air. I'm like, okay. So I go wash my hands. There was paper towel there. While at the paper towel rack, I turn around and look. Um, and it wasn't a urinal. was a hand dryer. I urinated in a hand dryer. I thought it was a urinal. Am I a savage? Am I am I am I really a stupid foreigner? Jesus. Wow. Yeah, um, on that note, I think I'm going to end the video. Please tell me of any embarrassing moments you've ever had in Japan or any country you've been in and leave it in the comments down below. And I'll see you in my next video. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Really shouldn't have just, like, um, use a bathroom like that, you know. I mean, I should have just use a toilet. Be safe than sorry. My God. Um, yeah. You know, there was this other time when, um, I think I almost...